Hypertonia is the medical term for abnormal muscle stiffness or rigidity in the muscles of the body. Hypertonia or abnormal stiffness in a newborn infant can sometimes be a symptom of a serious birth injury. In this video, we will look at the types of birth injuries that can cause hypertonia in newborns. The type of birth injury most commonly associated with hypertonia in infants is spastic cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a permanent neurologic impairment that results when a baby suffers oxygen deprivation during pregnancy or birth. The lack of oxygen damages cells within the baby's developing brain. This damage leaves the child's brain unable to exercise normal control over muscle functions. Some of the earliest symptoms of cerebral palsy include muscle stiffness, rigidity, and spasticity. Herb's palsy is another type of birth injury that can potentially cause hypertonia in newborns. Herb's palsy is a condition that occurs when the brachial plexus nerves in the baby's shoulder and neck area are damaged. This nerve damage is caused by excessive force or stretching of the baby during a difficult vaginal delivery. Delivery complications, such as shoulder dystocia, can often result in this type of nerve damage. Herb's palsy results when damage to the brachial plexus nerves during delivery impairs the brain's ability to communicate with the muscles of the arm. Babies with Herb's palsy have total or partial paralysis of the affected arm. Babies with Herb's palsy will often display abnormal muscle stiffness or rigidity in the arm or shoulder area. If one arm appears stiff and limp while the other arm appears normal, this can be a hallmark indication of Herb's palsy. A far less common condition that can potentially cause hypertonia in newborns is Kernic teres. Kernic teres is a rare type of brain damage that can result when infant jaundice is not properly managed. Infant jaundice is very common in newborns and it results when levels of bilirubin in the blood get too high. Infant jaundice can be easily treated as long as the condition is properly managed. However, if severe jaundice is not monitored and properly treated, the levels of bilirubin in the baby's blood can get so high that they cause damage to the baby's brain, resulting in Kernic teres. Muscle stiffness is one of the primary symptoms of this condition. Miller and Zoys handles birth injury malpractice cases across the country. If your baby suffered one of the birth injuries described in this video, it may have been the result of medical negligence. Call our office today for a free consultation.